Still with a chance is Phoenix Dawn running a big race today. Now Phoenix Dawn tackling the leader, Chef de Troop, for the first time. Over two out. Chef de Troop in front. Sam Tristan Davis sitting pretty still in and leads by half a length, but uh, a good effort here from on the outside. Phoenix Dawn, who took it in second place as they come up the home straight now, and Chef de Troop, the odds-on favourite, just being kept up to his work here to make sure, and he will go on and land the odds by a couple of lanes. Good run by Phoenix Dawn in second. Dave Tamaris, who's got a bit of stamina, he's trying to now peg him back. And he's just eating into that lead. He's four lengths clear, Orchestral Rain, as he comes down towards this second last, being kept up to his work. With in second now, Tamaris, and then Fraterculus in third. Over the second last, slightly tired looking leap there by the leader. Tamaris wasn't fluent in second either. And Fraterculus is going to move up and join him for second in a moment. Here's the final flight, Orchestral Rain, up towards it now, and he measured that well. He's clear, he's six lengths up and he's just been kept up to his work here by Sam Tristan Davis and it'll be a double for Sam and Dr Richard Newland here at a windswept Huntingdon. Orchestral Rain goes in again. Perfect myth over with a beautiful leap. She's clear and going further clear by a good six lengths then. Dardanato tackling who what went for second. The final flight for Perfect Myth up towards it and over incredibly smoothly and this has been a really easy win from quite a useful mare here. Perfect myth. Back to winning ways. Three out of her last four now for Bryony Frost and Neil King. A good run by Dardanato on debut. From Senior Citizen. Now he asks him to try and close this gap. Espoada Rome still has it by two, though. Here's the final fence now. Espoada Rome hit that hard, and Senior Citizen none too fluent either. Espoada Rome by two and a half lengths. Senior Citizen trying to close the gap, but Espoada Rome is more than up to the task here and is finding plenty and driven out towards the line. Makes a winning chase debut for Kieran Gethings and Kim Bailey. Third of Grand Val is third. Pointed and sharp fourth. Bit of a barging match going on there as lots of luck tries to hang right-handed and cannoned in to, uh, to, the, to the new leader, Bathiva. There was a faller there, pointed and sharp at the final fence. Bathiva, in spite of being slightly hampered approaching the final fence, is drawing clear and is absolutely hacking up here, having won at Taunton back in March. He's back with a bang here for Fergal O'Brien and Connor Brace. Bathiva easily from Lotdale. Then in fourth place then is Shantou Sunset, who's come from quite a long way back in the mare for Mihal Nolan. But they've all got to go to catch Innes Freelad, who's running free as he approaches the second last, and he's popped over it clear by a good ten lengths, and Sam has hardly moved on him either. Coming up towards the final flight now, Innes Freelad up towards it, steadies at it, and he's over it safely and he's going to follow up his win. His win here last time, in fact, wasn't quite as convincing as this. This is mightily impressive for the Tom Simmons team then. Two out of two for Tom now in his free lad and a treble for Sam Twist and Alan Jim. Only half a length between them there. YI, though, is still eating up the ground on the inside. Back and forth, Lord Sparky keeping on. Here's the final fence. Three will be in the air together, perhaps, here. And they were. Touching down YI. Bad mistake there by Lord Sparky behind them. YI, those coasted to the front from on a mission and Al Alberto's dream and YI given a fine waiting ride by Colin McCormack is pulling himself up a bit in front here he's got 50 yards left to go and he's gonna do it YI is the winner just by a length or so on a mission grab second and then oh the jump has gone to bits for the late legend he's back tracking quite quickly down the back as the as his jumping begins to take its toll he's trying to rally on the flat there but he's lost fourth place to old sod temporarily perhaps but well, there's five horses separated by about three lengths then as they race on down the side of the track. And it's for Allen and James Davis in front. And now being pulled wider is Mr. Palmtree being pulled off the rail there by Tabitha to go into clear second. The late legend is rallying for Sean Bowen. He's battling away with old sod on the inside for third place. But as they turn into the home straight here, it's for Allen as the leader, but only half a length from Mr. Palm Tree, who seems to be going pretty well. They're coming down to the second last. Then Old Sod on the inside is back in third place. Over the second last they go. It's for Allen, gamely clinging on to the lead. But Mr. Palm Tree now is just easing into contention. He's on the outside. He is pricked here and touches down with a better jump then than It's for Allen. Mr. Palm Tree, the leader, blunder in third by Old Sod. The late legend well beaten in fourth. 
and Mr Palm Tree is going clear on the run in here for Tabitha Worsley and the Robin Dickin team. Mr Palm Tree leading by five lengths, being cheered home by his owners, the Coco Nuts and the Tricksters. Mr Palm Tree wins by four.